So today we're at Lee Jong Shin's gallery, which he took pictures with his brother Lee Jong Shin. So let's go take a look and see how the pictures came out. Whenever we encounter white dandelion puffs, being delighted to see them blow them away in the wind. We send our love together with them, hoping that they fly with the wind and land them somewhere more comfortable. At this very moment, we find ourselves feeling touched. That's maybe because of our belief that they will definitely pop out of the ground, even in poor surroundings. We Blew Away Dandelion Puffs is a photo exhibition wishing every single child in the world a blooming dream and a hope like dandelions blooming anywhere. Sharing is adding, after all. Last spring, we joined Vision Trip, volunteering project by Love FNC Foundation. This exhibition has moments that we came upon while visiting the fourth Love FNC school in Kala, Myanmar, YWAN Daycare Center in Yangon and East Dagen Study Room. This journey beginning with sharing brought us time with the children. Looking at their smiles, we could see a small sharing turning into a big hope. We, realizing that what and how much we could share with someone actually didn't matter, and learning the true meaning of sharing, planned this photo exhibition with the hope for more people's care and their participation in other ones. We wish this small piece meets other ones, and then they complete one picture. Also, thank all of the people who helped us with this exhibition. <music> Photographer Yongshin Lee, CN Blue Yongshin Lee. All the profits from this exhibition are delivered to the children of the 4th Love FNC School in Myanmar, YWAM Daycare Center, and East Dagen Study Room. What did you think about it? <laughs> That's really why she's always like this to me. How was it? You do Oh, it was great. Is my friend Karis, so if you guys remember her from the Heartstrings video. It was great. <laughs> yeah. She's yeah. like fangirling right now because Jingxin's brother is here and she wants to go talk to him and she says that that's her ideal type. So I kind of want to tell him that she has a crush on him, but she's going to kill me if I do. But yeah, no, it was really good. Like the artwork here is amazing. There's some pictures here that just kind of wake up these emotions from you, they evoke them. Like look at this one of them smiling here. It warms my heart so much. There's specific pictures here that just speak to you without needing words, you know? So um, I wish you guys could come here, but this is his gallery so far and it's really good. It's really good. Alright guys, so one of my favorite pictures is this one right here. Like I don't know, it's just just looking at your face invokes like the sense of happiness to me and it's just like I feel it within the picture like even the background it's like a bright color and you 
there's like kids surrounding her and it's just like finding joy in the simplest of things in life there's something that we need to learn from this and it just that impacted me a lot out of all the pictures here like this one has to be my favorite one it stood out the most to me be happy doing the simplest thing in life simplest things can just bring the smallest of joys as well Thank you for this picture. <laughs> so, Karis is gonna show us her favorite one now and explain why she likes it. And she's also gonna explain why she likes Junction's brother too. Hi. Okay, this is my favorite photo because like, I think that the composition is really great. Um, I always like photos where there's like a main subject and like a side subject. So, you can see that the two girls are actually very engaged in conversation. And at the back, I assume it's the mom. Like, she's just like looking after them from a distance. Mm -hmm. So, I, I just feel that in terms of like composition, I mean, for video as well, like it's like three, like one third is the mom, which is the side subject, and then like two thirds of the photo is like the main subject. The color is very, very well like balanced. Yeah. That's ah. all. I mean, I, I personally really like photos with a lot of greenery inside, so I like how he actually chose that this photo where there's the greens really pop out at you, like in terms of like what they wear, yeah, based on the background. So I, I just think it's a very great photo. So if you guys come over, you can get a free photo of this. So please come. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, can you tell us why you like Junction's brother and not him? <laughs> <laughs> you can run away but you can't hide. <laughs> I'm not going to Japan you. <laughs> I'm just gonna like, <laughs> change my outfit. <laughs> 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 진짜 잘 찍었어. 아, 네. 감사합니다. 네. 어디서 잘 오셨어요? 싱가포르에서. 아, 싱가포르에서 오셨어요? 네. 한국말을 되게 잘 하시네요. 아니에요. 나 잘해. 아니, 슈팅해. 엽서 한 세트? 네, 감사합니다. 네. 봐주셔서 고마워요. 네. Alright, so we just came back from the gallery and actually towards the end we ended up asking his brother if we could take a picture with him. He took a picture with us and then I wanted to tell him that I came to the gallery because I'm a CM Blue fan and I wanted to check out Gumshin's artwork. I told him that I started learning Korean with CM Blue and he was pretty amazed about that. So then I told him that I really liked the gallery, I, I, I really enjoyed it and he went on to say that he was very thankful for that. And then my friend Karis had asked him what were the pictures that Iyongshin, that he had taken. And he went on to say, Uri Jongshini. That's why like referring to him like his brother. Uri Jongshini said that Jongshin took uh, about 90% of the pictures in the gallery and that 10% of it was his. And she also asked him on what criteria did they choose the pictures that were shown in the gallery. And he went on to say that their goal with these pictures were to show the more like happy side of the life of these uh, children. Uh, not necessarily like the poverty and all the sadness that comes with it, although that is important. But to also just see, yeah, like the happy and like the good things and the cheerfulness of it all. So that's what... I mean, and that's like, and I told him like that I understood that, like I got that right from the start from the pictures I had seen, and he was just very thankful, and he called me smart. Thanks, I already know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, he was just really kind. Like him and Jungshin, I feel have a like, pretty same personality. Uh, yeah, and it was very awesome that we got to talk to him. It was a really good experience because through talking to him, we were able to ask him about the artwork, and he was able to tell us the story behind the pictures that were taken and the intent that they had when they took those pictures. So it was just a very beautiful gallery. All right, so I bought some of the postcards. This one was free for everyone that went to the gallery. And these are the ones that I bought from the gallery. And they're just really beautiful. Like, I loved it, like I tell you, you see the cheerfulness, you see the happiness in these kids. And that's something that I will remember from this gallery that I'll take to heart. So are we going to Lee Jong Hyun's concert in Kobe for June 7th and 8th show? So if anybody wants, I actually have another postcard from the gallery and I'll be giving this one now at the Kobe concert. So let me know if you're interested to get it. First person to comments and lets me know can get this free postcard. Thank you guys for watching this video and if you can, please support these children. Donate to the Love FNC Foundation. If you can, maybe buy some of these postcards here. But yeah, like thanks you guys for watching this video and I hope you guys support our boy and our boys. <laughs> Bye.